this day would come to where I would actually say nursing is burning me out but nursing is burning me out I'm, I'm tired not tired I'm tired <laughs> So Foley, this is a sterile technique that I will be using. Um, bladder scan my patient twice already. She's had two straight calves, both being um, over 500 cc's. So protocol after the second straight calf, if she's continuing to retain urine, we're gonna place the Foley. Okay, so now that the Foley has been placed, I have logged into Epic and I've gone to the patient 
avatar. Basically, right here is where we're documenting that the patient has a Foley. This is extremely important to do because there's times I've logged into here and the patient does not even have a Foley or it was never updated. Very common. I know we get busy as nurses, but again, if, you, if it was not documented, it was not done. So right here is where you are basically putting in the date of the placement, the type of Foley it is, the, the size, who it was placed by, how the patient tolerated this. And also you can place IVs here as well. And even if you're going to remove a Foley, this is how you will remove that Foley after it has been removed. <laughs> So this is the patient's avatar. If this patient also have any wounds, you will note these there as well. It has been such a long time since I have sat down and put together a whole little vlog. But anyway, I miss y'all so much. I miss recording and I'm not even gonna try to sit here and give a where I've been type situation. Life, you know, life. Life be life in y'all for sure. Um, but honestly, I have been working mostly. Working and getting myself together for this transition program, which is honestly burning me out so much. I can't even open this drink. I'm gonna open this drink and record, sorry. Hold up. White cloth. <laughs> so right now I'm pretty much just waiting on a friend two of my friends actually we're going to try this new restaurant and lounge tonight so that's what I'm getting ready for I don't know why I'm sounding like I'm out of breath but yeah so they should be here soon um, I'm pretty much ready I just didn't want my hair to like get frizzy because it's like super curly so I kept the bunnet on until I get ready to leave out but y'all i have really been trying to figure out how i wanted to start this video off but i was like girl just start the freaking video they don't care just record so guys an update on what's happening with me and my med surge position which is honestly mentally more than physically it's phys physically exhausting too but definitely mentally exhausting like y'all sometimes i leave not even sometimes, most shifts, <laughs> I leave and I'm just like, what the f is that? <laughs> and I'm not even a person who typically, you know, takes their work home or who walk away from something feeling just discouraged. I, I try to walk into everything with a positive mindset. I try to walk into everything with knowing that you can only do what you can do and you can get up out of here. And that, that's just what it is, you know? But sometimes that's not even enough. I remember one day I was leaving work. And, I mean, on my way to work, I was like, girl, who is this? My brother. So I was like, girl, it's gonna be, you're going to have a better day today. Yesterday was crazy. It's going to be a good day. We're good. I left out of there and I was still like, what happened? <laughs> It was not a good day. It was horrible, actually. Horrible. And honestly, it's just getting worse for me. And I'm trying to change my mindset. But it's like, no matter how I try to walk into this situation, no matter how I walk into on this, onto this unit with a different mindset, I'm still leaving just drained. And that has kept me away from this. My platform. That has kept me away from a lot of things. And... Yeah, so now I'm just trying to get myself back mentally and emotionally in alignment with the things that I love mostly because I can't be letting no job keep me from keep me from my goals, okay? So <clears throat> here soon I will be not working during the week. I'm only going to be working weekends so that I can focus more on my classes um yeah I, I gotta get this done <laughs> and I, I never thought this day was gonna come y'all i never thought this day would come to where i would actually say nursing is burning me out but nursing is burning me out i'm i'm tired not tired i'm tired <laughs> yes i am tired y'all 
for real. Like, I like Med Search because I think that it has given me the experience and the skills that I, I need in order to be the nurse that I want to be. I've learned a lot there and I'm still learning. I feel like every day is a learning experience. And if it wasn't for, let's see, we're always short staff for one, always short staff. So that patient to nurse ratio is just ridiculous. Like y'all, one time I had 10 patients. Like the old version of me would have been like, oh, 10 patients, what's that? But no. It's a lot. They they require a lot. You know, and these people be so sick. Like, y'all, I like to describe my unit to people like a trash can unit. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's nothing that I do not see. I feel like there's nothing that we do not do. I see a lot of sepsis and infection, cardiac. We even get some cancer patients. We even get like a lot of homeless people who are just there until they can figure out placement situations and the list just goes on and it's it's ridiculous it really is and the family they make it worse they make it worse they really do and it's like no matter what you do the shift just it's just burning <laughs> lord but anyway july 4th i i have two weeks off after that july 4th would be my last day as a traveler then i'm going on as staff uh, i'm going on as staff on july 17th you're probably like t you just said you're burned out from nursing why are you going on as staff like why are you going on as staff but anyways the reason why i did choose to go on with staff because this hospital is going to help with like my tuition for school and I don't want to have to be searching for a contract while I'm in school. And I've been there long enough. Hell, I might as well be staff. And it has its other benefits. But will I be doing this forever? No, ma'am. This is not it for me. It's not. And I, I don't even think this is a specialty I would want to continue to go into after I finish my transition program. Because I just, I just want to try something else. And at first, I was thinking like, you know... I don't want to do bedside anymore, but I just don't want to be in med surge. I don't think I want to do that forever. I can't. Um, it, it again, every every unit, every setting has its pros and cons. Again, I've learned a lot there, but it's just time to get my things together and and go. Peace. You know, I, I've done it. <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> I do need to finish getting ready because both of my friends they are on their way and i just need to finish up my hair i think my makeup is fine yeah so we're gonna go to this restaurant and it's like a restaurant slash cigar lounge and um come back here i think they're staying over tonight because tomorrow we are going kayaking we're gonna go like okay so here's the plan so tomorrow we're gonna do like a small hike or whatever and then after our hike we are going to kayak so i have put together a little um what well, i am putting together a little gift bag gift bags for them and all of my things didn't even come so i'm hoping that one of my packages uh come overnight because uh i want to just to give them all a a little gift of appreciation y'all like my girls they all are doing their thing and i'm just so proud of everybody so my mom made everybody these little <laughs> immunity drinks or whatever and some body butters and then i found these little keychains that i'm gonna throw in there in their little bag um so yeah we're gonna take all our immunity shots before we do our hike I think Cherish is bringing white claws. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to do our thing. So the package that I'm waiting on is actually just like some compression socks. I don't know, just something that I thought would be cute to just like throw in their bag. So, yeah. <sighs> Let me finish getting ready. I miss doing this with y'all. I really do.
right so i am ready still waiting again they be late kind of i hope we're not gonna be late sarah's not third reservation you can go ahead love oh, Pretty, but coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting. Cause you ain't never talking loud, and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about, cause you just get me. Yeah, you so pretty. If everything is tipped and go, then baby, it will never grow. Everything sweet ain't shut and cold. Second peak is about halfway. That'll be kind of let you gauge time wise where you're running at. There's no chance to get lost on them. So we don't have to yeah. right No. Okay. And it, but it's 15. Oh, it's about halfway. Okay. Uh, okay. Towards the end, two small steps, rapids. They sound scarier than they are. Swing to the right. This is easier on the right. It gets pretty shallow on the left, so you'd be scraping. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to know when I'm supposed to be on the right? What? You're so scared at this time, you'll be fine. No, that's an immunity shot. Sorry. Okay. Don't put your jacket on. I'm ready. They got one on the way. Mm. And we go we could just wear those too. Those are just I think your feet, wait, hold on. Yeah, you just get in right there. Yeah, your butt go right where you. No, turn the other way. No, the other way. Not put your, not put your left foot in and then put your right foot in and shake it all about. What y'all look at this? I'm about to have to try to figure out how to get off of here.
now it's the next day and I meant to get up a little bit earlier to beat this sign because when you're going up this, these rocks <laughs> with that sun beaming on you, it makes it a little harder. Y'all, I'm almost there. <sighs> okay, bitch, let's do it. You can go back down on there, but I need this. I need to burn these calories. So, it really looks like you can, you know, touch the clouds. Look at there. <laughs> well, y'all made it to the top. And it feels so good. It was a struggle getting up. I, sometimes I bring London up here with me and y'all. <laughs> she looks forward to it sometimes because she knows once we make it to the top, she's gonna get like, I, I try to motivate her by putting like snacks and stuff and fruit in the bag. And so when we get to the top, she's like, where's my banana? <laughs> uh, this one time when we came up here, she was just, I don't know, she just didn't wanna do it at all she's like oh, i'm tired but we were halfway there i was like oh you want to turn around she's like yeah and then i was like oh okay so i grabbed her hand and we kept going she's like wait what i was like oh you thought you was getting up with me no but uh life lesson to her and to myself it's always harder getting there making it to the top but once you get up there once you get up here you feel, yeah, you feel like you're that girl because you you made it. <laughs> and it's always easier going down than getting up. Really important that y'all take care of yourself so that you can avoid being burnt out by any job or any situation or anything around you. And do the things that you love, the things that's going to give you dopamine and the things that's going to give you energy, the things that's going to make you feel good mentally emotionally physically do those things that make you feel good because if you don't take care of yourself baby if you don't take care of yourself everything around you is just gonna constantly drain you and that's not what we want you know like even if you have to remove things jobs people out of your life to get there remove those things Thank you so much. And sir, yes. Home Depot. I had to find um, these two pieces for my dryer, <laughs> and I had a question about one of the pieces that I needed. So the lady who was helping me, she was like, "Oh, well, let's go find somebody who can help." And she like <laughs> directed me to this man. She was like, "Yep, him right there." And I should have thought about it when she said, "Him right there in that blue shirt. He can help you." I go over there reading off of my phone of the, the piece that I need because I barely understand what I need to get. So <laughs> I'm trying to clarify it with him. Hey, am I? is this okay to use this piece for blah, 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 blah? He started laughing the whole time he's smiling at me. I'm thinking, am I saying these words wrong? Like, what is funny? And he points at his shirt and it clearly says Marta. <laughs> He don't even work there. And I was like, why did she send me to this man? <laughs> and I looked at him, I said, and you just let me talk. Like, you just let me say all of that. He's like, well, well, you're pretty. <laughs> yes. I put in the wrong. Oh, there you go. Alright, y'all. 
so I just got back. I'm gonna have a little fruit and make me some lunch. I'm gonna show y'all this corn dip that I've been making. Um, so first off, first things first, you are going to need whole uh, kernel corn. I use frozen corn and I keep a lot of it because I make this dip often and you're gonna need um, jalapeno peppers. I couldn't find the little one, so I just grabbed a hot pepper. <laughs> um, green onions, these are the seasonings that I use. And you're gonna need some cream cheese. I usually use a little bit more than half of that. And then some Parmesan cheese, or you can add whatever other type of cheese. But y'all, this dip is so bomb.
Catch a flight, change the weather And I promise forever 